What's up guys? Welcome here back to another cracking episode of Exo Gamer. One, two, three here back to another episode, guys, of the series of Canon with Exel. How is it going, guys? Or however you want to call the series. I don't really know. I just I sounded cool. I really don't know why. I just to sound cool, like I'm bad at canon in. It just sounds sick, guys. You know, a lot of people remind me that I'm bad, but it's like it's banter, you know, there's a series is banter. But like guys, welcome back to the Canon with Exel series. Uh, last episode in the series was ages ago. I'm really, really sorry, guys. But today, there's going to be something amazing for you guys. You know, this is going to be sick. All right, I've been upgrading a lot. <laughs> but it's one that's, you know, for sure, guys. Yeah, but if we can aim for six likes in today's canon next episode, guys, that'll be sick. Uh, but yeah, let's just straight get into it, guys. Now, as you know, last episode, we had a bad time cannon. It took us, a, 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 you know, a long time to even try and get through a wall. Um... And there was a few issues with that cannon, but I've upgraded to um, the heart, like the next stage to that cannon, um, which is obviously the 40 stacker. So we used the last episode, we used a 20 stacker lean cannon, and obviously hybrid and slab buster and all that type of things. Uh, but this cannon here is a 40 sand stacker slab buster hybrid TNT cannon. And um, in addition to it, we can actually reverse hybrid to this cannon as well, which is special. You know, I, I'm not. To be fair, guys, to be really, really honest, I don't actually know what that means, reverse hybrid, but I would think it's just the other way around of hybrid. And so, um, yeah, that this here is the reverse hybrid, and not too sure what this is meant for, um, but it's reverse hybrid, so we know that for sure. But like, we've got a 40 sand stacker here, guys, and we're going to try and get through uh, as many, well, not as many walls. I mean, I'm just going to show you guys how it works, really, uh, and things like that. Um, but yeah. That's cool, you know, guys, don't worry, in the future, when I'm really good at cannoning, I will build cannons for you guys for a test episode and all that beautiful things. But let's get straight into it. So now, the, main, the first thing you want to make sure, when you finish your cannon and everything, you want to make sure that you have actual signs. Well, you don't have to have signs, but you want to, you, you know, if you're bad at cannon, you probably want to remind yourself with some signs, so, you know, disable sand stacking, things like that, and, uh, you know, what you need to do with, when you're cannoning and sand stacking. You want to make sure what you're, you know, doing. But I'm just going to go through the cannon, some few features to the cannon. As I said, guys, there's the reverse hybriding. So that lever there, that's a beautiful lever, um, is for reverse hybriding. This mechanism right here, the hammer as well up there, sand stacker compressor thing there. And we've got, you know, the main uh, booster component. We've got the first little booster here. And then we've got the last booster, or the scatter right here. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And we've got quick pulses around here. We've got repeaters and things. And yeah, the hammer right here. So that's everything, guys, in this cannon right now. Uh, but yeah, let's get through it. So the first thing you want to make sure when you're cannon in is you've got to make sure how far away is the base. So I made it obviously easy for you guys. And this is, you know, very close base. So uh, with a cannon this close, right here, we've got uh, the, rend the rendering for the cannon, practically. Um, what I mean by that is how far the cannon should uh, shoot and things. Um, so, as it's really, really close, I only need a 5 tick, um, I'm just gonna go, you know, through it, guys, but, like, this is a 5 tick, um, towards the hammer, uh, when it's connected to that, so it's very close, but when you're probably through around, I say, 20, uh, not 20 walls, around, like, 70 walls, I mean, like, up here, you probably want to add, like, two more repeaters to it, just so the delay is, uh, you know, enough for the TNT to arrive when it needs to be, and to, you know, explode, um, but yeah, and then here we've got the cannon in settings. Not too sure what they do yet, but these are the main two components to the cannon uh, right here. Well, not main two components, but these are for the scatter and things. These are very important. It's again the rendering for the scatter, just when you slab busting and things like that. Uh, but yeah, by the way, guys, if you don't know much about cannon, in, and this might sound really weird what I'm like saying and things, just just bear in mind, guys. I will go through normal episodes. Right now, I'm just going through most of the cannons and stuff that because that's more more entertaining, guys. But I'll go through the main mechanism of hybrid in, in uh, very very soon guys but yeah let's see if we can bust this wall um so what we need to do first guys make sure that there's well you're gonna make sure if there's any slabs um if your cannon doesn't have um, a slab buster to it you can just creep egg it and that one of my cannons which i'll be showing off in today's episode i have to creep egg to break slabs you don't have slabs there but you know we have to creep egg it when we actually play um but as you guys can see we need to get some sand to break this wall obviously to hybrid it so there's slabs there. So the first process is nothing practically. You just leave the can how you built it, just literally how it is. You have enabled uh, the stacker uh, and the slab buster, and we can now bust the slab. So we just press the um, um, 
the beautiful button, I guess. Let me actually um, go down some of the volume. Um, okay, so there we are. Slabs busted. Beautiful. Um, let me just, um, you know, making sure that everything goes good. But yeah, those slabs just beautifully buffed for us. Now, uh, what we have to do, guys, is disable the scatter because we are not, if we have this enabled, it will keep on breaking our sand and it wouldn't even actually stack the sand at all. Um, so now what we're going to do, place two cobwebs there and two cobwebs right here. If I can just, there we are. <laughs> Right there, then what I want to do is I want to uh, have 40 sand here. This is a 40 stacker, guys, as I said. Uh, not 20 stacker. 20 stacker is when you bust in the wall. So slash slash set sand, 40 beautiful sand. This can actually work pretty, pretty, uh, quite beautiful. There is sometimes some of those orc shots. It does happen occasionally. Not every time, though. Okay, um, yeah, that's the first few shots. So the first shot doesn't bring up that much sand, unfortunately. But trust me, guys, uh, it only takes around two, uh, no, two to three shots to get into a base. So, and the thing about like having world edit, uh, world edit on here is really quick, you know, sand stacking things. But obviously, this will take longer, you know. But as you guys can see, we have made massive progress already with the 40 stack. With the 20 stack, we would have been still down at that one shot. So now we will probably need two more shots to get in. Um, so this cannon's really up, like, this cannon's beautiful, I love this cannon, it's one of the best cannons that I've actually made physically, because it's just a 40 stacker, and it's really, really useful, I mean, I could make a 100 stacker, it's just, uh, in my, my ones I make don't actually work, uh, but yeah, there we are, beautiful, and I say one more shot, should um, stack 40 sand exactly, um, the reason why is just the height of the base, guys, and that's the reason why it just sometimes, you know, does does how it does, really, it's just the height and how far down the wall is, the slabs are, so it's always good to have uh, slabs all the way down to bedrock like this base, um, and yeah, there we are, beautiful, so that is um, around quite a lot of sand, uh, but we are right on the height of the cannon, so we are literally right on the height, if I, um, yeah, if I go like this, we're, yeah, literally on the height of it, so that's beautiful, it might be one block down, no it's not, it's, it's, it's perfect, but now when you've got it right how it should be, on, on the cannon length really, and the right Y coordinates, so right now our, uh, we are, what's our coordinates right now, so we are 122, and this should be uh, 121, yeah one below doesn't really matter, one upwards doesn't really matter, um, but yeah now what you guys want to do, is you do want to turn this on, but you want to turn the light off on um, the comparator because um, this, uh, if you have it turned on, it scatters multiple TNT. If you have it off, it scatters only one, and we only need it to break once. And then it's a waste of TNT if we have it more, guys. So you want to make sure that's done. You want to redo the cobwebs, but now you're not stacking 40 t uh, 40 sand. We only stack in um, we only stack in. 10, uh, 20 sands, so we do slash slash stack 9 upwards, so um, it says 18, really place 2, so we only want to uh, do 20 sands, that's what we just did there, and uh, now we can just, yeah, see it blow up, really, and boom, that is literally how that cannon works, guys, that is one wall slapped, uh, well that's one wall broken, now I'm going to show the process all again, guys, for just you, so, um, yeah, it'll be very quick, very, very quick, and then we can get to the next cannon that we have and things in store for you guys. Yeah, slab broken, beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're actually doing quite well with this cannon. You know, this is an actual attempt on, uh, you know, it was a gamble trying this out. Um, I mean, it wasn't, it was very, you know, quite nice to, but I don't know what reverse hybriding is. I don't really want to try it, just in case if it does something to the cannon, because it might have to only specific it, specific rules maybe. Um, I don't know. I really don't know what high, as a reverse hybrid in it. I mean, I do kind of know what it stands for. It stands for obviously the reverse of hybrid in, so not hybrid in practically, I think. Um, but yeah, um, one thing you guys want to make sure is that the hole is this big, really. If it's, um, if you have a block like that, doesn't really matter. If you have a block like that, doesn't really matter. But if you have a block in the middle like that, that does matter. If that's done like that, your cannon isn't accurate, you just got to creep back that, guys. Um, either way, even if it's like that, you need to get rid of. Uh, I believe if that, like that, I think is right, but if it's like that, 
that's not good. So you got to make sure you've got to creeper egg the um, the wall sometimes. Uh, make sure you don't make a massive mess. But like, yeah, you got to make sure that the uh, the wall is exactly uh, you know lengthwise and things. And make sure that it's all um, intact for the sand TT to get to arrive. Um, but yeah, let's go another beautiful sand shot. Let's just literally go through the wall. Oh yeah, rip, rip that one. Um, <laughs> Accidentally placed a block, man. <laughs> that was not really what I wanted to do. I mean, the sand really got there, but I still placed a block there accidentally. Okay, that was a bit funny. <laughs> okay, let's just, you know, that was a rip right there. I mean, that just failed. Um, you know, not all sand might have got there, so this we might have taken one more shot instead. This should be, yep, one more shot. Unless that was an orc shot. Can't, that could have counted as an orc shot, the one we did, so we still might have to do two more shots. Should be one, though. If, if it didn't do an orc shot, then it should be one left. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Let's see if it's an actual orc shot or not. Um, and it was an orc shot, the first one. Okay. So it was that. It was an orc shot. It did count as an orc shot because it didn't actually um, span it down, so not all, team, not all sand got there. And um, unfortunately, uh, but we should this exactly should be the last sand stack. If it not, if not, then something must have gone wrong. But everything should be fine. And beautifully, as I said, very high that one was. Uh, but that's just because we had an orc shot. Uh, but now that should go back down how it that is when we uh, burst the wall. So let's make sure this is on. That is off. Uh, let's make sure that the, we have uh, cobwebs down here, cobwebs up here, and let's stack nine upwards, and let's burst this wall. But yeah, this should be, when this wall broken, half of the video done. Um, and bayom, there goes one wall. But yeah, that's literally, as you guys can see, is exactly the same. As that wall because we exactly broke it the same and the sand is exactly how it should be oh well this one's one high i believe but uh, no it isn't it's exactly how it should be but yeah that is that cannon so that is how that can works guys so maybe it isn't good to go through that many walls but if you have like a base uh, like 20 wall space this is a good cannon to use but if you if it's a very rich base and you might want to you know use the next cannon um, it's not sure to go down there. So, let me go to home cannon. Now, this is, guys, the ultimate hundred stacker. This is literally the hundred stacker. Oh, gotta, you know, get prepared. Um, but yeah, this is the hundred stacker. Um, I'll get into how this works. Now, unfortunately, this cannon can't slab bust. As I said, um, if you can't slab bust, don't worry. You can add it, but it wastes time. Now, the reason why, um, we, uh, we don't have this cannon with a slab bust is because slab bust doesn't take ages to do. But it's an easy thing that you can miss out and you can just use creeper eggs on. And creeper eggs, you know, ain't that much. You know, they're not that worthy. But yeah, you got to make sure you place cobwebs here. But like with creeper eggs, you just got to place creeper on the slabs. And not all bases have slabs because, you know, slabs are effort to make. And most overworld bases do have slabs. But not, not always. Maybe not all the time. Make sure you have cobweb there. Make sure you have cobwebs right here, actually. Uh, let me just pile up with the sand and then we'll get into how this cannon actually works and what it's meant to do. Now, you probably it's a hundred stacker, so it does it a hundred sand in one shot. Everything goes into one shot. So, yeah, so that is exactly a hundred sand as it says down there, guys. Um, and then this is the one shot TNT, uh, no one shot sand, I meant not TNT, God. I mean, it acts as a one shot TNT and sand, but you know what I mean. Um, but this is a hundred stacker, so what it does, um, it does. I like two of the things which uh, that cannon uh, does, which are all separate though, those ones, but these ones are all in ca compact. It does it, uh, stacks the sand, and it busts the walls at the same time. That one can only stack the si sand, then switch over to the buster. So, that's how that works. This cannon, it does it all automatically, like, yeah, automatically. So yeah. But it can't slab bust, so it can only do three, two functions right now. Um, and that is it. It probably can do a uh, nuke the wall, maybe? Depends, might not. Uh, but as you guys can see, very, very, very powerful hammer right here, guys. This is the hammer. You know what? This is very powerful hammer. And um, we've got the boosters and things as well. Let me go inside the cannon. Um, a massive, like, barrel and everything, and the boosters here as well. 
But yeah, this cannon is quite nice. I don't want to show it all off because we will be using this next season for definite. Um, but yeah, let's just show how this works. We press the button. Okay, and let's just watch the wall, really. Um. What? Well, okay. <laughs> Great orc shot. I must admit that was um. Yeah, that was an orc shot, guys. <laughs> Man, freaking orc shot. Okay, as you guys saw there, do, what do the wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure. Yeah, as you guys saw, the yeah. Uh, man, God, um, that was embarrassing. Freaking orc shot right there, guys. Yeah, this kind of does orc shot quite a lot. So we've got to make sure that nothing blew up in that because it could have blew up because obviously sand got stuck in the cannon somewhere. Um, so somewhere the sand got stuck. So we've got to make sure that it didn't get stuck in the main parts. But so the one shot TNT, like uh, one shot sand, I mean, um, is all good. Um, yeah, everything looks in impact. I mean, enough as you guys saw, you know, there's water. And this is why there's water protection in the cannon. Without this water protection, we would definitely be, re you know, broken for you know for definite. So yeah. But oh rip! <laughs> I believe that was just an orc shot. I believe it was. Okay, maybe this one should work. I'm just gonna have a look at. Um, okay, oh lag. Okay, did that? Yeah. Okay, guys, you probably didn't see that accurately, but that's what happened there. Now I will just redo that, and because um, it, I lagged unfortunately. I I was stuck. I was stuck in a cannon bit, and um, so I was meant to not do that. I just wanted to see what if it did, but yeah, that was beautiful. I mean, that worked out beautifully. But we'll rebuild this wall and get rid of that sand in a second. And if we do the uh, process again and actually show you how it uh, the sand stacks and breaks at the same time, um, but yeah, this is a hundred sand stacked in. Well, actually, this is only ninety-five sand. Um, this is actually ninety-nine, ninety-five sand. So five off. But you're always going to make sure that you are on Y ninety-five. I believe 95 or 100. Uh, what are we on? We are 100. Never mind. Um, you've got to make sure that you're on Y100 uh, when you're using this cannon. Y100 and upwards, all good. If you're low up, then there's, what's the point of using a 100 stack? You know what I mean? There's, there's literally no point. Um, but let's do that again um, and show you guys. Yeah. By the way, I, I like made made up all this, and I was thinking of doing it in the episode, but. I wasn't too sure if we should have uh, or not, but I didn't. So I don't know. We're not. We're probably gonna do that next episode. It's just uh, to start the episode. We'll have a little bit of that going on, and yeah. But yeah, this is looking beautiful. Slash us set sand. I don't know why. I just always like to refill the the, uh, the one shot sand. Okay, let's just get out before it starts lagging. Okay, good. Okay, let's show you the wall. Oh, oh, oh I thought it was an orc shot when I didn't see the sand coming. It wasn't. Thank God that was not an orc shot, man. And um, now we're gonna do it one more time because I do love, I do love this cannon. It's addictive as hell. This is so addictive to do, man. Um, but then we do it one more time and end off the episode, guys. Uh, but yeah, recommend some cannons I should be doing next uh, uh, episode because I will be doing a new cannon every um, every new episode. So I'll have to you know learn a few cannons. I have some cannons in mind that are already in this area I haven't shown off yet. And um, a special cannon which is all the way up in the sky, um, but like isn't working at all. I need an expert to have a look at the cannon, what's wrong with it, and everything. And if it does work. We are uh, here, yeah. but I want to learn how to upshoot um, next because uh, it's more important if I know how to upshoot than left shoot at the start of the season or next season. Because, um, yeah, about like the seasons and things, guys. Um, I'll talk about that uh, maybe next episode or uh, and things. Obviously, the faction series for us is nearly finished, um, but there's only like three weeks or two weeks until the reset. People say it's on the 4th of June, people say it's on the other days. I really don't know, but. I really want it to reset, so yeah. But we'll talk about that next next uh, next time, guys. Um. Okay, that lagged massively. So that was a massive orc shot, guys. That was a massive, massive lag spike. 
So nothing happened there. Hmm. Yeah, it was just brutal lag right there, man. Um, okay, I got you. But yeah, my PC right now is having like mass massive like glitches right now. It's just literally my FPS has just been like amazing right now. I don't even it's just not even meant to be like that. It's a funny thing. Okay, let's just watch this wall blow up. Oh, beautiful. That sound is beautiful. Okay, but that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm just gonna refix the wall. So anybody else that wants to use the cannon can do it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much the episode. Um, I can't really say anything else. This cannon is beautiful. I'll go f like I'll show off all of the cannons that we have, uh, you know, shown in the episodes uh, since. And yeah, but that's literally my cannons for today. Two cannons for it, and I believe like the first cannon is amazing. You know, the forty stacker is really really nice. I I'm, I'm actually enjoying that cannon. It, it's, it was really nice to make and everything. And, uh, yeah, it was just really, really cool to make. Um, but, yeah, let me just go to home K. Okay. So, um, so the cannon, okay, the can. so these are all of the ones that are broken. But this cannon here is a link cannon that we used um, last time. As you guys can see, still here, beautiful, still ready to be used. But, yeah, this is the lean cannon. As you guys can see, the difference is, that, you know, only you can shoot 20 sand, obviously. But yeah, this is the lean cannon, the 20, you know, that beautiful cannon. Um, then this is the one, the 40 stacker that we've um, shown off today's episode. Massive update to the cannon. Beautiful cannon. Works fantastically. Um, I must admit, it works beautifully. You know, this this has busted some beautiful walls. And then the next upgrade to it, the 100 uh, stacker. Um, there might be an 80 stacker that people have probably made. But the main one is the 100 stacker, and this is just another, you know, massive upgrade to it. You know, you can see like how well, com like how complex this cannon has been through the years. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's literally all of the cannons for today, guys. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like, and if you if you can recommend any other cannons to be added, that would be beautiful. Uh, next episode, we might, you know, go through all of these walls and that little vault thing I set up at the end as well, which is sick. So then we'll show you how to down shoot as well, which is really not down shooting. It's just placing the sand and just hybrid in it. But yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.